In this video, we're going to take a look at making a Geist 2 kit from an external hardware drum machine. Geist 2 comes with a small utility plugin called Spitter. Spitter can be used to send audio from any track in your DAW directly to Geist's sampler. My drum machine is coming in on this audio channel in Ableton Live, so I'm going to place Spitter as a plugin on that audio channel. Now when I switch the pads to sampler mode and the input to Spitter, we should see the signal from the drum machine coming into Geist's sampler. We're going to be using threshold sampling. That means that sampling will automatically begin whenever the audio signal goes above a certain level, and the sampling will automatically stop when it comes down below a certain level. Those two levels are set by these two sliders here. Now we can see the noise floor here on the VU meter, so I'm going to set both the start and stop levels just above the noise floor. This should give us the most accurate sampling possible. I'm going to select pad 1 as the first pad to sample to. And then I'm going to switch the assign mode to next pad. Each time a sample's captured, the next sample will be captured onto the next pad, and so on. If you wanted to sample multi velocities and put them on layers, you could use the next layer and pad option. But for this, we'll just use next pad. I'm also going to switch the recording mode to mono, as my drum machine is a monophonic source. All that's left to do now is click arm and hit each pad on the drum machine one by one. And that's it, our kit's been recorded. If you look under the Places tab in the Geist 2 browser, you'll see a folder called Sampler Captures. All the recordings made today are in a folder with today's date on it. so you can load them up in your favourite sample editor and tweak them as you like. Last thing to do is go to the File menu and Save Kit to save your kit. And that is sampling an external drum machine in Geist 2.